Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking you guys through a booty workout. For this workout, we have a couple supersets and a triset. I will leave all the moves and all the reps in the description box down below. So you can always refer to that. If you guys have weights, you can incorporate those as well. I will try to show a few different options of what you can do and just kind of work with what you got. Generally, all you need for this workout is some bands. Bands are a super affordable and easy way to get some more resistance. So that is what we're going to be using as the base for this workout. Like I said, you can add weights if you have weights. This doesn't even just have to be freestyle weights. You can add a heavy book. You can add like your laundry detergent. You can use anything. Whatever you find works for you, do that. I'm also going to be using sliders. You don't have to use these. And if you really want to, and you don't have sliders, you can also use towels. Get creative. All right, let's get into this workout. We are starting this workout with a superset. The first move is a basic hip thrust with a resistance band. This is a perfect exercise to warm up your body and get your glutes activated and working. Make sure to push through your heels as you come up and really squeeze the glutes. Do this for 15 reps and let's move straight into our next move. Our next move, we are staying with the hip thrust, but adding a little something extra, something spicy. And those are hip thrust openers. Once you lift up from the floor, squeeze your glutes and push out your legs. This starts to fire up your inner and outer thighs. I know this looks and feels awkward, but trust me, they work. Do this for 15 reps. Rest and repeat the superset two more times. Next up, we have a triset. Supersets and triceps are a great way to keep time under tension as you move right into the next exercise with little to no rest. It builds muscle and also raises that heart rate, so you also get a cardiovascular effect as well. Doing this helps you burn calories long after you finish your workout. The first move in this triset is a banded surrender to squat jump. This is a great exercise to burn those thighs. Feel free to add weights for added resistance if you want to take it up a notch. We have 12 reps of these bad boys. Going straight into the next move, we have banded side to side squats. Make sure to keep your chest up and try to stay in squat position as you move side to side. Do this for a total of 16 reps. Last move in this triset is banded elevated squats. You can use dumbbells to elevate your heels or books, barbell plates, or whatever you have handy. You can see I'm using weights side to side and propping my heels on them. Then I take my band and squat. Elevating your heels like this allows your glutes to really activate. Feel free to add weight as well. Do 12 reps of these, rest, and repeat this triset two more times. Okay, we are on to superset number two, and we have clams. Laying on your side, lift one leg up, keeping your foot planted against the other. The key is to keep your core tight, which is why you see me holding my core to keep control. Also make sure to keep your bottom leg down. Don't be rushing and pulling silly stunts like this. Do 12 reps on each side before moving on to the next exercise. On to banded leg kicks. Plant one knee on the ground and lift up the other leg and then bring it back down. Do not arch your neck or your back. Keep your back and core nice and tight and squeeze your glutes as you come up. Do this for 12 reps, rest, and then repeat it two more times. The last two exercises, get excited. We are starting our last superset with slider reverse lunges. If you don't have sliders, it can be easily replicated with towels. If you'd like to take it up a notch, use some free weights. And if you don't have access to dumbbells, use something in your house that has some weight to it, like I show you here with laundry detergent whatever you have handy. Do 12 reps each leg. Mm. 
Next up, we have banded hip hinges. This move really targets your lower glutes, hamstrings, and back. Put your band on the bottom of one foot and grab it with the opposite hand. Bend down as you lift up your other leg and come back into standing position. Always keep your back nice and flat. Do this for 12 reps on each side. Rest and repeat one more time. All right, you are finished. I hope you guys enjoyed that booty workout with me. I love that we can just have this community to work out together and do it from the comfort of our own home. I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next workout. Bye guys.